Okay, so here is the after. And this is a property here in South Ponte Vedra Beach that I've been maintaining and they are selling this house. So I just want to show you a quick kind of a view of what was done today. Just get everything just trimmed up. Nothing too fancy. They were on the fence on what they were going to do when they decided to sell. So just kind of trimmed up everything, got everything ready. All the landscaping. It's cleaned up, got rid of a bunch of weeds. This is the after. It's a beautiful day. It's already probably about 70, probably about 75 degrees. So it is spring. So trimmed up the hedges. Also got that big palm. Both of those guys just got to shape them up. This is the entrance. So it's important to update your landscaping. It's the first impression that your potential buyers will get. If you are looking to sell your home, you want to really make sure you sharpen up not only the inside of your home, but also your landscape. Because before they even get to your front door, your potential buyers have already have all already have an impression. And if you want to get an offer, then you want to make sure that that's a positive impression. So that's why I got rid of all of the leaves in the lawn here. Just make this front area here really sharp. And trimmed up the shrubs on the side. Nothing too exciting. And the big trees in the front. Now we got a long walk. How long is this video? Also trim everything back from the house. Very important to keep the eaves from getting too much debris. Trimmed up the big shrub. The types of things that only make a difference when they're not when they're not maintained, then they catch your eye, but in a negative way. That's the after. Just gotta kinda make sure it's nice and symmetrical. All right. And the other big palm on the front. I had to trim it back a little more than I normally would because it had these fronds that are hitting the cars when they come in. So I had to sharpen it up. Even a little guy. So now I didn't want to take too much more off it, but that one is, is a little bit tall enough where I don't think it's going to be hitting so I left it. I always want to err on the side of not cutting palm fronds as opposed to cutting too much. All right well that's it. She wants some flowers put in so stay tuned subscribe for more updates.